Alright guys, so this is this is a basic haircut. It's a number three on top, ball fade on the sides, and we're gonna do his goatee. Um it, it's one that I've done a while ago, kept it in the chamber. Um but decided to drop it now. It's just number three all the way around closed. And then we'll start to fade the side. We've been on tour, we've been educating, going to different cities. Uh, this weekend we'll be going to, not this weekend, but the following weekend we'll be going to Hartford, Connecticut and Detroit, Michigan. Um, that should be a lot of fun. There's still some spots available for that. If you want to check it out, 245education.com. Um, and now we're balding him out. So this shouldn't take that long. You guys, you know, try to, try to make this three minutes max. And what I mean by that is... Create the guideline, bald them out, and then follow it up with the shaver in less than three minutes. So now we're going to our next step with the wall coilless seniors, and that's the blade open. We're doing one side at a time. We're going to break it into two different um, parts. That was the number one guard open, and now we have the one and a half guard about midway open, and we're just going to run it into the bulk on top. Now the number one open should blend right into that one and a half guard. Now that number one is closed. Christian Perez calling me, doing a, a voiceover. And it, it almost looked like I, like I, I went up a little bit too high, that's okay. If you go up a little too high with the one open, you know the one and a half guard is gonna blend that out. Then we followed up with the number two, and that connected uh, the one and a half guard to the number three. Here, we're, it looks like I'm skipping the half guard. We're going straight to the blade open, and it's blending right in. And now we'll start to take that bottom line out. You guys saw I closed the clipper. And as we gradually go up from, from that bottom line, we open the clipper up some and we'll blend right into where we just left off. Because remember, we already kind of took that line out with the blade open. So just to soften some things up and bring it all together, that I brought out the half guard. I didn't need it, but I, I brought it out just to kind of take away some of that guesswork, I should say. And now we're kind of just detailing. We're looking for dark areas, you know, we went through the system that took less than three minutes and um, now we're just going back and detailing little dark areas all right we'll do the same side the other side and it's the same steps guys blade open one open now it's closed here I'm just it's the same steps, just a different order, right? Same, same idea, different order. So instead of going, going up to that one and a half guard and blending into the top, we're going ahead and we're blending out the one open um, and the blade open, into the blade open. At this point, I, I really didn't have to break down each step, so I'm kind of just going and just trying to get this faded out as quickly as possible. And it takes me about six minutes to fade to do to do the fade portion. Not the haircut, but the fade portion. This is number two, connecting the whatever's on the side into the top, because the top is a three. Now we have our one and a half guard going right beneath where we just left off with the two, just to bring it into the one open. And the half guard is bringing it all together. And at this point, 
one we the fade is is pretty much done you know your typical client would be okay with this haircut we're just kind of detailing it just because i'm ocd got me i'm in the background trying to get a cut and, and to me the fade's coming out pretty blurry it's funny because this particular client actually went to high school with me um and uh he just recently started started coming to me because he, he moved nearby so i thought that was cool and at this point we did the two halves i'm just making sure that they blend the back you know that it looks like it's the same haircut that they they blend right into each other and it doesn't look like i did one side higher than the other you, you, you know what i mean And again, when we're detailing, I'm just looking for dark spots and I'm just taking them out. So if the area looks like it's a one open, I'll take out dark spots in that in that vicinity in that area with like a half guard, for example. I'll go I'll go down a guard. And this is this is a difficult hairline. This this is one of the things I cover extensively you know, on the online academy because, you know, no matter what, people are gonna are gonna judge somebody's crazy hairline. You can see that his hairline almost is like a like a rainbow, like it goes down like crazy into the corner. So you got to get a little cosmetic, as you see here. Um, <clears throat> and he he straight up told me after I lined him up, he said, "Listen, man, I appreciate the way you lined me up because." Um, I stopped going to the barbers that I was going to because he kept leaving my natural my natural hairline and it just looked like I had a rainbow shaped hairline. I didn't like the way that it looked. It looked, you know, I didn't have sharp corners or anything like that. Like I still tried to keep it, you know, as natural looking as possible. It's still a little still comes down a little bit on the sides, but I gave it I gave it more of a squared look without pushing it up too much. And this is one of those things that get a lot of trolls in the comments and effectively it, it, it hurts my, you know, the views on the video um, because of the dislikes to likes ratios and all that stuff. So I try to keep like the, I literally make specific videos on just hairlines for the online academy because I know it's something that's very difficult for people and every person has uh, a different hairline and some people have some really difficult hairlines to, um, to make look nice and i literally locked in this client because i i do his hairline the way that he likes it and that's what matters at the end of the day it's not about what you what your opinions are guys it's, it's about what the client wants we all have our opinions the one that matters at this moment is the guy who's sitting in your chair so shameless plug if if you're looking for that type of level of, of education if if you know because a lot of viewers here you're just here to see a before and after a transformation or your next haircut or you're trying to learn how to cut your kids hair i mean but if you're a professional barber and you want to get to the next level the online academy is available go to tomb45.com click education now we're using my shavers my bronze series nines and and i gotta do a review on these and i gotta do you know something a little bit more specific to them because you know these things hit 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 at this point the fade i believe is, is looking really nice now i feel like the 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 lineup made it pop yeah it's pretty blurry i'm holding like three things in one hand 
All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take care of his goatee. He specifically told me he wanted a number three um, at the chin area. So we'll do that and then we'll line him up. So because it's a number three on the chin area and the mustache area is very coarse, we're not gonna do a number three on the mustache. It's, it's just not, it's not gonna look right. Um, but if you do a number one, it's gonna look just as dark as a number three because the mustache area is so coarse. Now he doesn't want his goatee to connect, but I still connected it now just so, just to make sure that it's symmetrical with his mustache and now we'll disconnect it. So I hope that that's a good tip for you guys who struggle with that. And he specifically told me he wanted his mustache thinner. So we made it thinner. And you know, a couple times I, I, I told him to look at the mirror. We gauged it. It's much easier to take hair off than put it back on. And he told me about after after a couple times of you know checking, consulting with him, we got it to the to the width that his mustache is now. And now we're applying the shave gel, guys. A, a lot goes a little goes a long way with the shave gel. And as you can see, you know, for me, I want the 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 shave gel to be moisturized. That's why it has aloe vera. That's why it has vitamin E. But if you like you do, if you like that wet that wet um, feel when you're shaving, um, you know, the same way that I applied those little you know the dots of shave gels in each area, and you don't have to touch the skin with the nozzle in order to do that. Um, don't don't you know smear it onto the face until you get to that area so that it stays you know um the shave gel stays for as long as possible so when i get to for example i could shave this area with the shave gel and when i get to the mustache wait till then to, to spread the shave gel onto the mustache to start shaving that area if i want to keep it um as moisturized as possible I'm just cleaning up around the, the ear with the, the with the razor, and I feel like the razor brings everything to the next level, man. Why is Miami making such a cameo the whole video? I mean, Miami hangs out at the shop. All right, so this is the finished product, guys. It's a little bit blurry right now, but I promise you, it's not just blurry because of the camera. It's also blurry <laughs> in real life. Um, I just thought it was more focused than it is. Applying some alcohol or, or aftershave, you gotta do that. You gotta clean, be clean. You gotta sanitize. You gotta protect your clients' health. And uh, that's it. That's what I got for you guys today. Smash the like button. Hit subscribe. Make sure you comment. Give me some feedback. So I'll I see you guys on the next video. Rochester, Chris Basio, uh, hands-on and look and learn course. And the experience is something I'll never forget. I learned so much in such a short amount of time and he did not waste any second literally he made sure everybody was on point the entire time and knew what he was talking about and if, and if somebody was confused he would break it down even more the look and learn course was great because he actually used me as a model and got to cut my hair as you can see it's literally the blurriest fade I've ever had and uh, he was just a down-to-earth guy, man, and like you could really talk to him about anything, not just in haircutting, but in life in general. I think anybody who's even questioning on whether they should cut hair or not should go to this course. I learned so much, and I don't even have that much experience, but now, because of him, I feel com really comfortable behind a chair. So I gotta thank him and, you know, his buddy Dre and the Tomb 45 squad just for putting that together, so...